In this Neuron Writer review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this app. Neuron Writer is an app that allows you to analyse your competitors' best content and suggest what ideas to cover and what Google users are looking for. Once we've logged into Neuron Writer, we're greeted by the dashboard, and here we can see there's your projects, project shared with you, and analyzes shared with you. If we come over to create new project and click on there, it'll ask us for our domain name. Once you've entered the domain, you'll enter your project homepage and select your default search engine. As we can see, there's loads of countries to choose from and you would obviously choose your desired country and your default language. Once you've entered that information, you'll come over to content writer. If we come over to the new analysis button and we click onto there, we can see it comes up with a box that says write or optimize content with the help of the best SEO and NLP guidelines. Analyze SERPs and competition for the given keyword. Here where it says I would like to rank create content for, you'd put your desired keyword. I'm just going to put in for the sake of this YouTube subscribers. You then again obviously select your desired search engine and the language. There is also the option for advanced settings where you can add additional keywords. Once you've entered the desired keywords, if you just go ahead and click start, as we can see, that's now come up on our table. We can see the difficulty is at 72. And if we just go ahead and click onto that, we come over to a page where you can select your competitors or any pages matching your expected content type. Automatically, it selects up to 10. And if you just go ahead and click next, we then get led over to this page, which is obviously where you create your article. There's a few settings at the top. It's obviously save, load revision, export, import, or draft. Now, if you click onto draft, it'll bring up an article layout. For example, as I used as my content idea, how to get YouTube subscribers, we can see on the right hand side here, it's got loads of suggested content ideas. How many followers do you need to monetize your YouTube videos? How do I become a successful YouTuber? And what we can do is we can just add those sections. Using the arrow buttons here, you can also just move them around. As well as headers, it also has the option for questions where you can do the same thing and just add a section. So for both the headers and the questions, we have text boxes here where we would obviously type in our article. Right at the beginning, it says, try to include the following terms and it is essentially helping you out creating the article. With the questions, we just have an empty text box where you can type as you would please. You do also have the option to type into the search box. So if I put in there, what, then it comes up with some different results. What are some ways to make money as a YouTuber? You're a member of a YouTube partner program, now what? Stuff like that. We can also do the exact same with questions. If we go back onto copy to editor, we can see the article layout. There's three options below the headers, which is expand notes, edit, and beta generate. If we click onto beta generate, we can see it comes up with our heading and then loads of different terms that are separated by commas. If we click onto generate, it's used the following terms that were in the text box and it's actually created a full paragraph using AI. If you weren't happy with it, you'd have the option to generate again, or of course use text. You can obviously work from what the AI has generated and then obviously continue the article, type in it yourself or continue to use the beta generator for ideas. To the right of us, we can see the content score. Obviously ours is quite low because we've not added too much. We do also have the option at content score. If we click on the clipboard, then this will bring up a checklist. It shows us our overall score and actually breaks it down. For example, it has main keywords usage of suggested terms and it's basically shown us how we can improve that score. Below there we have content terms, ideas, YouTube and filters. On content ideas if we click on one of the suggested terms then we have the options to copy term to clipboard, highlight term in text, set target usage count, add term to project keywords list, exclude from suggestions and it also has some usage statistics. On ideas, we also have questions to answers. If we click on the plus there, we can see it gives us loads of results. How to look at my YouTube subscribers. Is it safe to buy YouTube subscribers? We can obviously copy these texts and paste them into our article. On the YouTube section, if we click 
get YouTube ideas. This will bring up some suggested YouTube videos that we can also copy into the article. Obviously the aim of everything is to get that content score up as high as possible. We do have a section that shows your competitors and their, their scores from so the top 10, 62, 29 of the top 30, 51. And there is the option to click on content recommendations based on top 10. So you go on the top 10 and then it's gonna update some of the suggestions. As well as that, we also have many ways that we can format the article. For example, we have the options of bold, italic, underline, strike. We have the option to attach a link and images. Next to the content editor button, we have top analysis, which analyzes data from our competitors. We have our competitors and their content score and also a keyword difficulty. Next to competition, we have competitors breakdown, where you would obviously select a parameter for comparison. We have competitors structure, and this gives us layout for competitors' articles. We have SERP layout and features, which is going through on-site features. We have keyword ideas, which gives us a massive array of different word ideas. As you can see there, there's loads of pages. We have content terms, which is obviously content terms extracted from competitors' pages. And then we do also have a video guide as well. Next to top analysis, we have comments where you can obviously add comments or notes for yourself or another staff member. If we go back onto content editor, once we are happy with our article, we can obviously click save. And then if it was finished, we can click mark as done. This will obviously save and notify the project owner. Back on the dashboard, we can see that the status of the article is done. And if you had a few different articles, you can obviously filter them by various results. And there is the option as well to export it as an XLS file. So what do I think of Neuron Writer? I think it's a really handy tool to create articles. You can ultimately create an article that will perform the best it can in the Google search results. I also really liked the beta generator, which used artificial intelligence to create a paragraph using keywords. At first it was maybe a little bit tricky to use, but they do have a YouTube tutorial which was really helpful. Once I got the hang of it, I was absolutely fine. Would I recommend Neuron Writer? Absolutely. Thanks very much, I'll see you next time.